Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development and I'm here to talk to you about something that we do all day, all night. We all do it all the time. It's breathing. So within breathing, you might think, I don't need someone to teach me how to breathe. I'm freaking alive right now. I know how to breathe. But I really wanna talk about it in the terms of correctly breathing as well as correctly bracing your core. I've talked about it on different podcasts as well as just talking about my own fitness journey where a lot of my progress in the past few years has come from really focusing on my core and making sure it's the strongest as possible. Another little side note I'll make about your core is that the stronger that your core can get if you plan to have children it is not only going to make carrying the child easier it's going to make the birthing process easier and recovery easier as well so anyway i can make that a little bit easier for my future self sign me the frick up but when it comes to breathing, there are gonna be three main ways that people are gonna breathe that are going to be considered incorrect. So there's going to be chest breathing, and you'll see it here on the screen, but that's going to be that if you're to breathe and just film yourself breathing, which is a great practice to do, that you'll see that there's a lot of shoulder movement or trap movement and raising of the chest here. Now you might think my lungs are around that area, why isn't that good? And I'm gonna talk about what we need to breathe with here in a second. Now the other one is going to be inverse breathing. And that's going to be that when you breathe in, you're breathing, you're bringing your stomach in, and then as you exhale, you're pushing your stomach out. And then there's also going to be belly breathing, and that's going to happen when you are inhaling and your stomach is expanding, and then as you exhale, your stomach kind of goes back to normal. So those are three types of breathing we actually don't wanna have in play, and even some of those breathing, the way that you can breathe in that aspect is actually going to end up being sympathetic dominant, which is gonna put you in that fight or flight mode. So if you're not breathing correctly, and it's something you do all day and night, and you're putting yourself in a fight or flight mode, that's really gonna uptick stress there. So we definitely want to focus on what's the best way to breathe. So how we want to breathe is not with our belly, where you might have been taught that, not with our chest, even though our lungs are in that area. We want to be able to breathe with our diaphragm. That is gonna change everything, not only within your parasympathetic nervous system of being able to be parasympathetic dominant and turn on that rest and digest. So let's say that you've tried everything digestion-wise and you're still having issues, it might be your breath that you need to focus on. So within being able to breathe with your diaphragm, one thing to do to start off is gonna be able to go ahead and lie on the floor on your back. Now, one thing I wanna mention within the core before I move forward here is that when we're looking at the core, there's many parts. It's not just, oh, my abs, that's my core, or just right here, that's my core. We're thinking about the whole core box here, and that's also going to include your pelvic floor and a few other aspects within this whole region, including your transverse abdominis, that pelvic floor like I talked about, um, and then being able to look at your diaphragm as well. So when you're laying on the floor on your back, you can have your knees bent so your back is completely flat on the ground and being able to put one hand on top of your stomach and one hand to the side. So the goal within diaphragmatic breathing is going to be expanding laterally. So instead of anything moving forward or up and down, we're thinking laterally. We want to expand, expand, expand so the air is filling up our lungs. And as it's filling up, we're gonna slightly see our stomach raise after it's our Already gone lateral. So within this, while you're laying on the floor, this can be great when you have your hand on your rib cage and on top. So as you're breathing, you start to feel that laterally and then you feel your stomach coming up a little bit as well when you're breathing. Now this isn't supposed to be an exaggerated breath. How you breathe all the time should be diaphragmatic breathing, but being able to practice this for five to 10 minutes a day when you're getting started intentionally sitting there and practicing breathing can be the first step to then it being a part of your everyday routine because this is how we're always supposed to breathe but then life happened and other things came up and we kind of forgot how to breathe with our diaphragms so within your diaphragm and getting into that this is going to be something that you're all doing through your nose where i'm obviously talking right now so i am breathing through my nose and breathing diaphragmically but it's something that when you're doing this Again, do not take exaggerated breaths, just breathe normally through your nose and 
and you'll be set to go. So that's gonna be one of the first steps for being able to properly breathe to brace your core within lifting. So now when we talk about that within lifting, it's gonna be something that once you have that down pat, your breathing pattern is going to again be more stabilized. You're gonna be more in that parasympathetic state. And so even when you're training, when you're not in that parasympathetic state, your breath is still centering you and bringing you in. So then when you go to train, it's not just, oh, I gotta just you know move through the motions and get it done. You're gonna be focusing on your core and breathing in that way of the diaphragmatic breathing and then especially if you're going into a more heavy lift being able to brace your core so there's going to be a maneuver that you can do and you can hear it a little bit more than me just telling you what the name of it is where you're gonna basically be doing that breathing and then it's gonna be that <laughs> kind of motion so that's gonna be something where you are blocking your um, esophagus here and being able to make that <laughs> sound as you go into the bracing. So let's say I'm doing a heavy um, barbell RDL. If I've already been breathing the right way, then I go ahead and brace my core, kind of like someone's about to soccer punch me. Um, and I can make that little noise as I go through. And again, you're thinking about your whole core box, which is, you know, this whole area. So you're thinking about how to contract all of this while still keeping that diaphragmatic breathing. So as I'm here, I'm not just letting my stomach go or breathing in this way or anything like that. I have the control through my abdomen. I can have that extra exertion, especially if I'm bracing myself for a very heavy lift and then being able to go into the movement and have better movement patterns, have be able to lift heavier loads and your core be able to look better and just work better as a whole. Now, the last thing I wanna mention within the diaphragmatic breathing is that we can go a step further and be able to talk about some inner core work, being able to talk about the pelvic floor and a few other aspects here. But the biggest thing I want you to take away from this is just being able to video yourself, seeing how you're currently breathing and how you can implement this. Like I said, just 10 minutes a day, starting off five to 10 minutes a day to really get into the groove of learning how to use your diaphragm so that you can really apply that moving forward because we want to be able to regulate our intra-abdominal pressure. We also have a video, which I'll have it linked up here, um, talking about if you should use wrist straps, if you should use lifting belts. And one of the aspects of me talking about lifting lifting belts in that video is that it helps you create that intra-abdominal pressure um, and have more to press against because you have that belt there. So it is something where they can work in tandem, but you need to get your breathing down first for it to even provide the benefit that you need it to. So let's go ahead and brace our cores and lift some heavy shit. Thank you for watching. If you're wanting the best programming of your life for about a dollar a day, check out our app, Physique Development Training Club.